من برنادت هستم و در یک خانواده آشوری مسیحی در تهران متولد شدم. ولی توی این سالا خیلی شیطان The enemy tried to separate me from Christ in many different ways. Even after I grew up and entered the church in Tehran, I became disillusioned with some leaders and began to wonder if Christianity was the true way to God. I looked into Islam for foundational truths. I also looked at mysticism and religions of ancient Persia. And I searched many other places to fulfill my hunger for the truth and to satisfy my burning desire to know God for myself. And I began to wonder, is there really a God at all? I had begun to deny the very existence of a supreme being at all. In my complete brokenness, I cried out and said, if you do exist, I want you to show yourself to me. Then Jesus came to me that night and said, ask me for the faith you need. With trembling joy, I cried out, I want my faith to know you. Immediately, Jesus replied, it is given to you. When I returned to Tehran, I could sense a new season had started for me. I was pregnant and in my second trimester. Yet still, the Spirit kept warning me that I needed to continue interceding and praying. One Christmas morning, the secret police suddenly broke into our apartment at 5 a.m. They went through everything in our possession, looking for evidence against us. When we were taken into the police station for questioning, it was obvious to the officer questioning us that we were not Islamic converts. The heart of the officer questioning us was really touched by God. And when he saw me, he declared, I don't know why the officers are treating you so poorly. When you first walked into my room, I saw the eyes of my own sister in your eyes. Now leave this place quickly before I change my mind and send you to prison where you belong. Ten months later, God gave us a message. Come out of Iran. I'm going to use you in a new way. We were in Turkey for over three years. Again, God called us to leave and told us to go to America. God said, move out. You will feel alone, but I will be with you. It was amazing to us that on the third day we were in America, we came to church. They gifted us a CD about the covenant of Abraham, and that was a confirmation to us of the faith that we had stepped out in, in coming to America. When my husband and I were in the country of Iran, the greatest number of souls we could have touched for the Lord would have been perhaps a couple of hundred at the most. However, the Lord has opened to us a great wide golden door named Satellite Television over the Middle East and beyond through Iran Alive Ministries in Dallas. Through this wonderful tool, we touch millions of souls every day now. Millions of people are hearing the sound of truth and coming to know the heart of God who has always loved them. With the new programming we are developing for these thirsty women, we are bringing them life as they have never dared to believe or trust it existed before. Our goal for this programming is to raise up women who have been beaten down, to raise up Deborahs for the kingdom of Christ. We are also purposely looking for those women who are ready to lead other women in the sections of society they live in. We teach them their identity in Christ, to stand with courage and to adopt a mindset of victorious living rather than victimization. And they are not only able to become leaders themselves, they are raising up their own leadership teams as well. We desire for women to see themselves as Jesus sees them.